Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this social media share buttons using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, we created the design of our social media share buttons and this is how it looks. Now in this video, we will add the functionality and we'll also make it responsive. So if we go to the mobile version, this is how it will look on smaller screens. We have these uh, social media share buttons displayed at the bottom. So we will do all of this in this video. Let's get started. Right here we are in the source code and the first thing we will do is we will make it responsive. So let's go ahead and go to the style.css file and let's add a media query over here. So let's tap add media and let's add a max width of 900 pixels. So whenever the screen width is less than 900 pixels, the following CSS will be added to our design. So let's go ahead and select this social share container division. So I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it down here. So this is basically the container division of all these icons. So what we need to do is we need to display them at the bottom when we are on smaller screens. So I'll just decrease the width of the browser window. So the first thing we will do is uh, we will add the left value and let's set it to 50%. And now it starts from the 50% mark. So we also need to type transform translate x negative 50 percent and now it is exactly in the center and uh, here we have set the top position so here we can see we have set it to top 50 percent so let's unset that so just tap top unset and let's set the bottom value to zero and now let's go ahead and uh, display all these icons one next to the other so if you go to the social share container here we can see that we have set the flex direction to column now we need to set it back to row so let's tap flex direction row and now we can see that all these buttons are displayed at the bottom now we need to set the width of this to 100 percent so let's tap width 100 percent and we want to spread all these icons evenly so we can just type justify content and set it to space around and now we can see that all these icons are displayed correctly so with that our social media share buttons are responsive now let's go ahead and add the functionality. Now what we need to do is we need to change the href of these anchor tags and we need to add some dynamic links over here. So for that let's reference all these anchor tags in our JavaScript file. So let's tap const Facebook button equals document.query selector and we have a division with the class of social share container and in that we have this button with the class of Facebook BTN. So let's tap Facebook BTN and let's do the same for Twitter, WhatsApp, Telegram and share button. So I'll just copy this and paste it four more times. And uh, for the second one, let's type Twitter button. And here we have a class called Twitter BTN. And then we have WhatsApp button. So let's tap WhatsApp BTN. And here let's tap WhatsApp. And then we have Telegram. So let's tap Telegram BTN. And here for the class, let's tap Telegram BTN. And then lastly, we have the share button. So let's tap share BTN. And here let's tap share BTN. Now let's also reference the toast that we have over here, which will be displayed when we click on this share button. So we have a class of toast over here. So let's type const toast equals document.query selector. And we have a division with the class of toast. And now we need to add different URLs to these anchor tags. Now you can just simply go ahead and Google search for different social media share URLs. So you can just search for Facebook share URL and you will get the URL of the Facebook share button. So in this way you can find the links of different share buttons. So I'll just tap Facebook BTN dot href equals and I'll just add backticks. And for Facebook we have HTTPS Facebook.com forward slash sharer dot PHP question mark U equals and here we need to add the URL. So let's tap dollar symbol curly braces. And uh, for the URL, let's create a const. So I'll just tap const URL equals window dot location dot href. So this will give us the current URL. Now when we send this data to the URL, we need to use a function called encode URI component. So let's use that over here. So let's tap encode URI component. And let's pass this window location href over here. And uh, let's add the URL over here. So let's tap URL. 
So that's it with the Facebook share button. So let's go back to our design and let's click on this Facebook button and it is not working. So let's go back and let's see what's the problem. And the problem is that we have typed equals instead of hyphen over here. So I just select all these social share instances and let's change this to hyphen. All right now let's go back and let's click on this Facebook button. And now we can see that we are prompted to log into our Facebook account. And uh, once we log in, this uh, URL that we see over here will be auto filled inside the Facebook post input field. Right now, let's go ahead and do the same with the other buttons. So the next one is Twitter. So let's type Twitter btn dot href equals. Now for Twitter, we have https twitter dot com forward slash intent forward slash tweet question mark and we can add the URL over here and we need to type equals and let's add the URL. So let's type dollar symbol curly braces URL and uh, we can also add the text. So let's type ampersand text equals and for the text we'll just go ahead and uh, add the title of the page. So you can add any data you want over here. So for example you can also get the text of the h1 of the page and add it over here. For now I'll just get the title of the page. So let's type const title equals and we need to add it inside encode URI component and here we need to type document dot title. So this will give us the title which is uh, document for now. And now let's go ahead and add the title over here. So let's type title. And now if you go back to our design and if I click on this Twitter button, here we can see that we have to log in and we'll be able to post our tweet. And then we have WhatsApp and Telegram. So let's add that over here. So let's type WhatsApp button dot href equals. And for WhatsApp, we have to type HTTPS API dot WhatsApp dot com forward slash send question mark text equals. And we need to add the text. So let's type title and uh, we can add the URL over here. So I'll just type dollar symbol curly braces URL. So it will display text colon URL. So let's go back and uh, let's click on this WhatsApp button. And now we can see we have the title and the URL over here. All right now let's go back and uh, let's add the link for Telegram. So let's tap Telegram btn dot href equals https t dot me forward slash share forward slash URL question mark URL equals dollar symbol curly braces URL ampersand and let's add the title so let's type text equals dollar symbol curly braces title and that's it with the telegram button so if i click on this telegram button we are taken to the share page of telegram right now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to add the functionality of this share button so when we click on the share button we need to copy the current link to the clipboard and uh, then the user can go ahead and paste the link anywhere they want so let's go back and uh, let's add an event listener to this share btn. So let's type share btn dot add event listener. And let's listen for the click event. And when someone clicks on the share button, the first thing we will do is we will prevent the default behavior, which is going to a new page because this is a link. So let's type e over here. And here let's type e dot prevent default. And then we need to type navigator dot clipboard dot write text. And here we need to pass whatever we need to copy. So we need to copy the URL. So let's type URL. And once this finishes, we need to run a function to display the toast. So let's type dot then. And uh, here we'll create an arrow function. And let's call a function. And let's create the function over here. So I'll just type const. And let's create a function called display toast. And we'll get some value over here. So I'll just call it message. And here let's call the function. So let's type display toast and for the message let's type link copied right now let's add a catch so let's type dot catch and if you have any problems or errors we'll just type display toast and uh, let's type error copying link right now let's create this function display toast so i'll just type toast which is the division that we just referenced over here with the class of toast and let's type toast dot class list dot add I'm going to add a class called active. So if you go to the CSS file, in the previous video, we have created this active class. 
So when we have the active class, we are displaying the toast and we're also bringing it up. So here when we add the active class, it will bring the toast up. So now let's go ahead and display the toast and also display the message. So now it will display the toast, but let's also display the message inside the toast. So let's tap toast dot text content and let's set it to the message that we receive in this function. So now if you go back and if I click on this share button, we can see that the toast is being displayed over here and uh, the text is also copied. So if I just paste it over here, we can see that the link is indeed copied. Now here we can see that the link is encoded because uh, we added this function over here. Now for the share button, we don't want this encoding. We can directly copy and paste the links. So let's tap const and let's create a new constant and let's call it share link and let's set it equal to window dot location dot href and uh, here let's write this share link over here so let's tap share link and if you go back and if i click on this share button and if i paste it over here we can see that the link is copied so it is working all right now after we display this toast we want to hide it again after a certain period of time so for that let's create a set timeout and for the timeout let's set it to 3000 milliseconds which is three seconds and here in this arrow function, let's tap toast dot class list dot remove and let's remove the active class. So once the active class is added, this set timeout will start and uh, after three seconds, it will remove the active class. So let's test it out. Let's click on the share button and we have this toast displayed. And now we can see after three seconds, it goes back. So it is working all right. So with that, we have created this social media share buttons using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.